Hey guys and welcome to another Animal Crossing video. I'm Crossing Channel and the cherry blossom season in Animal Crossing New Horizons is just about to begin for Northern Hemisphere players. This is an incredibly exciting time of the year where you can collect some really cool new items, crafting resources and you can see lots of aesthetical changes around your island. So in this video I'm going to go over all the details that you need to know, tips and tricks and more about the cherry blossom season in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So if you're excited for this video be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and turn on those channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. So the cherry blossom season officially begins on the 1st of April. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere I believe it happens in October. And it's going to be a really cool time of the year in spring where your regular hardwood trees are actually going to become a pink as you can see here. Cherry blossoms will also fall from the sky and the majority of them are going to fall from the 7th to the 10th. That's when the event begins to peak. And of course around this time you'll actually be able to get some really cool new DIY recipes at a limited time. And also some new crafting resources to make those DIYs with. So in order to get the things crafted, you're going to need to collect cherry blossom petals around your island. As you can see, they'll be floating around the air. They kind of stand out a bit compared to other ones. And you're going to have to use your net to actually capture them as you see here. It's not too difficult to capture them, but I recommend going slow because you can actually scare these things off. You don't get unlimited chances to catch them. So be delicate with them and catch them whilst you can because you're going to need these items to craft. Not only that, but they look really cool. So I'd recommend getting some maybe for decorative purposes too. So yes, like I said, be gentle when you're going off these trade blossoms. You don't want to miss out on them. Thankfully, you should start to see a lot of them from the 7th. You will be able to see them from the first, but they seem to become a lot more common around the 7th when the event peaks and cherry blossoms are kind of falling from the sky like confetti. So that would be the best time to go out there and hunt them, I would personally recommend. Now, if you want to get the brand new cherry blossom DIY recipes, and there are quite a few, sadly, you're going to have to get them from balloons. I know people don't like hunting for the balloons. There are some fun tricks to get balloons easier though, so maybe I'll link one in the cards that I've done. But yes, this is sadly the only way you can get them. You can't get them from the bottles on your beach. You can't get them from villagers. I guess the only other way would be to trade with friends. So if you want them, that's what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to shoot down balloons and hope that you get them from there. The good news is there are a ton of really cool new DIY recipes that you can get from these balloons as you can see here on screen. There are so many really good ones. I think some of these actually make up some of my absolute favorite items in the entire game. You've got some wallpapers, some floorings. Of course, all of them really match the cherry blossom aesthetic really well. You even have an umbrella, a backpack, a wand. So yeah, there's a ton of different items and I really do recommend going out there and getting them whilst you still can. Like I mentioned, these are limited time and you're gonna need a bunch of different resources to craft them as you can see. A lot of wood is going to be required, weeds, and of course those cherry blossom petals. You're going to need quite a lot of cherry blossom petals if you want to craft everything. So definitely be sure to head out there and get as many as you possibly can. Thankfully they aren't too difficult to find so you probably won't struggle too much to craft everything. This is my personal favorite one, the cherry blossom pile. You only need five cherry blossoms to actually craft it and it's really small and cute. So I recommend putting a lot of these around your island during this time of the year. Now, there is one recipe which is actually exclusive to Isabel. I believe you could get it other ways, but Isabel is probably most likely going to be the one who will give it to you first. And this is the outdoor picnic set. During one of Isabel's announcements, provided you don't have this DIY recipe already, Isabel will actually send it to your phone. So that's one of the recipes that you can get from her, which is pretty cool. It's the outdoor picnic set. It's really cool. It's got a bunch of different food items like fries and orange juice and... It's just really cute. Of course, most of these items are Japanese themed and inspired because cherry blossom season is something that does happen in Japan. So yeah, it's kind of all inspired from that. So if that kind of matches your island theme, I definitely recommend getting these items. They are all really cool. And I do especially love this outdoor picnic set, which looks great. Another item that is definitely worth note here is the bonsai shelf. This will actually require a cherry blossom bonsai which you can craft from a DIY recipe at this time of the year. So if you do want to get this full item, you're going to need to get a cherry blossom bonsai. I just kind of wanted to point that out because I know a lot of people really love this item but don't actually have it on their island yet. It is kind of difficult to get a hold of to be honest with you. I only got mine recently for the first time so it took me a very long time to get one. But yes, if you can get that cherry blossom bonsai, you might be even closer to finally crafting the bonsai shelf, which is perhaps one of the most desirable items in the game. So yeah, definitely go out there and get that. 
cherry blossom bonsai and all of the other DIY recipes whilst you're at it. Now one thing that I do recommend as a little tip for you guys during the cherry blossom season is definitely to plant as many of these regular hardwood trees as you can. Now I know a lot of players like to mostly just plant fruit trees so they can get the fruit and sell them, but I honestly recommend that you diversify your trees and get a lot of different types of trees because they're going to be used for different things throughout the year. You don't strictly need the cherry blossom trees to enjoy this event, but to be honest with you, I can't imagine playing this time of the year without seeing the beautiful pink trees. I mean, they look so nice, and you only get such a limited window to enjoy them. So I think it'd be such a shame if you didn't have any of these trees on your island during this period. It would really, you know, kind of take away from the event a little bit. So I definitely do recommend planting as many of them as you can. You'll be able to enjoy them because it'll only take a few days for them to grow. So you should be able to enjoy them if you plant them as soon as possible. So yeah, definitely go out there and plant some of those beautiful cherry blossom trees. They look really great. And yeah, it's just my favorite time of the year in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's definitely the best looking time of the year. One other little detail that you might have noticed from this event is that the cherry blossom petals will actually float down the river, which is a really nice and cute little touch that I enjoy so much. It's only an aesthetical thing, just like the normal cherry blossoms floating down from the sky. It's just an aesthetical thing, you can't actually catch them or anything like that. But it just kind of helps add to this event and makes it such a beautiful time of the year. It's such a short and fleeting moment in Animal Crossing, but it's something that's been there since the very start. And it's something that I always enjoy. You get really nice sunsets during this time of the year and everything just looks really pretty. So if you are in the Northern Hemisphere, I really hope you'll be enjoying this little event. There are some really cool new items to go after, like I mentioned. And most of all, for me personally, the aesthetics are just unbeatable. So I definitely love the cherry blossom season in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I would love for you guys to let me know in the comment section down below which of the brand new cherry blossom items that you can collect is your favorite and are you actually going to go out there and collect cherry blossoms? I know a lot of people played this event last year or maybe back in October if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. So maybe you don't actually need to go and get these but if you do I definitely recommend getting them. You will only have a limited window like I mentioned so go out there and get those limited time items because honestly they are really cool and they're some of the best in the entire game. If you want to help support my channel click the join button down below the video to become a channel member. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks for doing so like exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, exclusive content and of course you get featured at the end of all of my videos. So if that interests you click that join button or the link in the description to learn more and become a channel member. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. You can check out my links and my merch in the description and two more videos on the right side of the screen. Thank you once again for watching and catch you in the next Animal Crossing video.